Yo, 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 check it. Check it. That's right. The Trick Da Champ is in the house. I am Rick Darock. And this is, you know it, it's Da People's WWE channel. So get, get, get sharing. Tell your friends about Rick the Rock. Spread that people's word. Go and check out the people's WWE page team. Bring it. And WWE World Wrestling Alliance on Facebook. Go and check out all my other videos. And leave that comment below. Check out that people's subscription and smash that people's bell to get all my notifications. I do need to give a couple more shout outs. So first of all, Mark Deleuze, there's your second shout out. Thank you for coming to my videos on Ringside Chat and Richard Mabby. Thank you for, for liking my posts and commenting. I do want to give a big thank you to you both. Richard Mabby will get his second shout out in a later video. We are on the electrifying, awesome, epic, legendary road to the hot, to the electrifying WrestleMania 33. So this will, so, th so I'm going to do a video every day and it will be the countdown to WrestleMania, starting with 17 all the way to 1. So like I said, this is the countdown to WrestleMania, starting with WrestleMania 17, that's been signed by Raven and the Dudley Boys. I'm going to run through the card, give my opinion, tell you a few facts. So it was Chris Jericho took on William Riggle for the Intercontinental Championship. Chris Jericho bring out the win here. It was APA and Taz took on the right to censor. APA and right to, sorry. APA and Taz won this one. Excuse me, it was a triple threat match for the Hogger Championship. Kane taking on Big Sean Raven. It was Raven's last of a match in the WWE. Uh, yeah, this was a good match. Went all around the arena, all around backstage. Kane come out the win and still hardcore champion. It was Latino Heat. Eddie Guerrero taking on Test for the European Championship. Eddie Guerrero coming out with the win here. It was Kurt Angle taking on Chris Benoit in singles action and Kurt Angle had getting the victory here. It was China taking on an Ivory for the Women's Championship. Ivory coming out with the win and was your brand new Women's Champion. In a street fight match with special referee Mick Foley, it was Shane McMahon taking on Mr. McMahon. This was a very, very brutal match. Come out with the win, the money, Shane McMahon. In a TLC tables, ladders and chair match for the world tag team titles, it was Edge and Christian, Edge and Christian taking on the Dudley Boys and the Hardy Boys. Edge and Christian come out with the win. To become the brand new world tag team champions. In a gimmick battle royal with the Iron Sheik, Br Brother Love, the Bushwhackers, Jim Cornette, Doink the Clown, Duke, Duke the Dumps, Dumpster Drozzy, or Drozzy, Earthquake, Goblin Gooker, The Goon, Michael Hayes, Hillbilly Jim, Kamala, Kim Chi, One Man Gang. Repo Man, Sergeant Slaughter, Tugboat and Nikolai Volkov. Iron Sheep coming out with the win here. So it was great to see all those back at WrestleMania. It was the Undertaker taking on the game. Triple H. Again, a brutal match. The Undertaker using the sledgehammer. The Undertaker coming out with the win here. Continues, is continuing, continuing his undefeated streak. And your main event was... Stone Cold Steve Austin, and it is Stone Cold, Stone Cold Day Today, Day 316. 
and he took on the great one, the people's champion, The Rock, for the WWF Championship, and Stone Cold came out the win and beat The Rock to become new WWF or WWE Champion. Uh, Mr. McMahon did help Stone Cold to beat The Rock. This was when The Rock was going uh, straight into close Hollywood, when he, when he went to meet the Scorpion King. Uh, so it, I said he was starting to go in Hollywood. There was a new attendance record set for this WrestleMania at 67,925 fans. Also, this was the second match between The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin at a WrestleMania. A lot of people said that this was the best WrestleMania of all time. Card-wise, yeah, quite a decent card. But this is when it, when it was first started getting into wrestling. Um, I used to watch WCW on Channel 5 and WF or WWE on Channel 4. I do remember my grandma getting my grandma to tape. Armageddon 2000 and the Royal Rumble 2001. So WrestleMania 17, it was as, as I started getting into it, but I really got into it at WrestleMania 20. So when I first started really watching it, never missing a Raw, never missing a SmackDown. So that has been countdown to WrestleMania, starting with WrestleMania 17. So, ah, me on Facebook, Richard J. Pay. Follow me on Twitter at RickTheRock30. Always give this the people's like. Never forget to sub. My next video will be Wrestlemania, the kind of Wrestlemania, Wrestlemania 16. For now, thanks for watching. If you smell the rock is cooking, word life.